Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, we're back with the opponent AI. And what we're going to do is we're going to begin to add the code that's going to decide how aggressive or how defensive the opponent's going to be. So, there are lots of ways to do this, so I think I've come up with a way that should suit everybody and is easily adjustable to make the opponent more aggressive, more defensive. Because I know in your projects you won't want every opponent to behave the same, so... Let's go ahead. I'm going to come here but below the opponent idol. And we're going to say private void. And let's give this a naming convention of attack the player. As normal, we'll open and close brackets. We'll open and close again. And let's just copy in a debug log and swap out the naming convention. And we'll just copy all of that block. We'll paste it in below. We'll change it to retreat from the player again. We'll swap out that naming convention. So these two are self-explanatory. But we want a function where the opponent doesn't attack or retreat. Instead, the opponent just holds their ground. So... I have to think of a name for this, so I've had a few I was trying to think of, so let's just say assess the player. Because basically I think that's what you do when you size an opponent up, you're assessing them, so and that's when you tend to hold ground, so I think that naming convention will do, at least for now. And let's come right to the top of the script and we'll create some variables. So, you can put these anywhere you like. And we'll make these public. Sorry, that should be range int. We'll give this a naming convention of a set offensive priority. And we'll say that equals a new range int. Open and close brackets, close the line off in the brackets, one comma three. And into the comments, so we'll say defines numerical value for the offensive priority. Let's just paste that in twice, so... We'll change the next one to assess priority and we'll change the comment. And we'll change the next one to defensive priority and again we'll just change the comment. So four and six for the next one. And then seven and nine. So this is going to be a balanced fighter if you wanted to make 
the fire to more offensive you can change that to a four but then you have to move this up one but you get the idea hopefully and the same if you wanted to make it more defensive if you lower it by one you have to lower the next number so And again, we'll be making changes to this as we go along. And we'll create a private int. So we're going to be making changes as we go along because I'm trying to do this in a way that will not lock up the AI script until we've got all the code in that will allow the AI to move to the next bit of code that it needs to read if we haven't inputted it yet so yeah with I mean I hope you can understand why I'm doing it this way so you can still test out your game there's not going to be the changes are going to be subtle but that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to stop the game locking up because we haven't completed the next block of code or something along those lines so this private in we're going to say decide let's say aggression priority no value this time into the comments so we'll say creates variable to store aggression priority and let's come to the void start you can put this anywhere so decide aggression priority and we'll just make that equal to zero which is outside the range we are using because we're starting at one so that just means there's no aggression priority on startup but we'll quickly input one based on our values. So we'll just say, let's just copy in that naming convention. Side aggression priority to, we'll just say zero on startup. So let's have a look now. And we're going to copy these naming conventions. So attack will go in after opponent idle. And now you can see why I haven't added numbers to these as of yet. You really should use numbers. So you should put in sort of equals zero. But we're not going to do that until the script is complete for these very reasons. So we'll add, and I'm going to add retreat from the player. Remembering to put commas on the end and this will become apparent later why I haven't added this function. But as I said, we'll come back to that. Now I'm going to come below the opponent idle. Now the code we're about to put in will not work because of this if block. Now, if it did work, the AI would move to these states and the AI would stop working because obviously we have no code in these three states as yet. But again, we'll come back and alter that at a later date. But for now, we're going to say if open and close brackets, we're going to say side aggression priority is less than symbol equals symbol assess priority dot start. So some of you probably have never used this way of coding before so for those of you who haven't we're saying is less than or equal to the assess priority start in fact 
it should just be less than, don't need the equals. So what we're saying is, is if this randomly generated number, which we're going to generate randomly in a moment, if this is less than the start value here, which is four, then we must be in offensive priority. So that's where the start comes in. So I hope you all understand that, but please uh, read up about ranged ints. On the Unity website, there is very little documentation, I think, regarding ranged ints, but I'm sure there's other sites you can go and read up about this. So let's get this into comments. If aggression Priority is less than, we'll just say assess, priority starts value, let's just use value. Let's come to the next line and we need to change state, so let's just copy copy any line where we change the states and just paste that in and in fact I'll just tidy that up so bring that back so obviously we're in offensive so we need to change the state to attack the player and let's change the comment as well we're going to come below here so let's say if open and close brackets again decide aggression priority is greater than so we'll use the offensive priority dot end so if it's greater than this value which is three which means we must be in one of these two ranges and let's have a look so we'll just come here after the close brackets we're going to say double and Decide aggression priority is less than, and we want to say that it's the defensive priority dot start. So now we're saying it has to be greater than the end of the offensive, but less than the start of the defensive which we means we're in this range so let's come back and I'll just enter here just before the double ands let's get this into the comments so we'll say if aggression priority is greater than offensive priority end value and and in fact I'll put the and in capitals and is less than defensive start value and in fact we're going to open and close brackets again at the end here should have done that first before putting the comment in but never mind we'll just copy and well cut and paste that in so let's come here and 
we will need some so let's come I'm going to put it here private bool and let's say this assessing the player we'll close that off creates variable to define if we are assessing the player you could put sizing up the player in the comments if you wish something like that entirely up to you the the comments are there for your benefit so and let's have a look assessing the player we're in the void start we're going to say equals false and as normal we'll just use that naming convention assessing the player equals false on startup and let's come here we're going to say if open and close brackets assessing the player double equals true into the comments if that naming convention if assessing the player is equal to true will return so this return statement will not affect anything outside these two brackets here so you don't have to worry about that and the normal comment of then do nothing and return Then we'll set assessing the player to true afterwards. And again, don't worry. If you don't understand how this is going to work, it will become more apparent as we fill out more of the script set. Assessing the player to true. And again, we'll come and we'll copy the line where we change states so what we want is assess the player to say this is the function oh wait a minute because we haven't added it we just need to actually call it sorry about that so we don't actually need to change states we just need to assess the player open and close brackets and we'll say call the assess player function my apologies for that just uh, wasn't quite thinking straight there and actually this video is getting quite long so i think we'll finish it here and we'll pick this up in the very next video so as always i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now